Hello, and welcome to another episode of Focus Wednesdays. Today, I'm going to show you how to add a non-destructive lens flare to your photo. So a lens flare is a really cool lighting technique that you can use on a backlit photo. And non-destructive means you're doing this on a separate layer so that if you wanted to go back and make changes to your photo later, you could. If you were to do this on the background layer um, or even on a duplicate of a background layer, it's really hard sometimes to go back and change that. So we're going to do this non-destructively and we're going to start right now. So the first thing I need to do is create this new layer that we're going to make the lens flare on. So to do that, we're going to come down to the bottom of our layers panel and hit this new little page icon. That's going to make a new blank layer. So it's not an adjustment layer, it's just a blank layer. I'm going to change this to lens flare. And now I want to go fill this layer with black. So to do that, we're going to go up to edit and fill. And then from our drop down, we're going to make sure that we have black selected. Our blend mode is still going to be normal and our opacity is 100. And we're going to hit OK. So here's the basis of our lens flare. Now before we actually apply the flare, we need to find out where on our photo that we'd want to do that. So I'm just going to hide this for a minute and show you kind of my thinking. So this photo is backlit. The sun was behind her when I took this photo and it was about here. So I'm thinking this is where the start point of my flare is going to be. And I think I'll make it come down like this through the photo. So I need to know that before I go ahead and apply the flare to the photo because once we're applying it, the screen's going to be black. We're not going to have a really perfect idea of where we're going to apply that. So for right now, I know I kind of want it up in this top left hand side of the photo and we can adjust it a little bit after. But right now, that's what I need to know is where I want to place my flare. So I'm going to turn my black layer back on. I'm going to go up to filter, render, and then lens flare. And from here, this little lens flare dialog box will pop up and it gives you a couple different options for um, your selections. So there is a preview box here and there's a bunch of different lens types for you to select from. So you can select from the 35 prime, um, the 105 millimeter prime, and you can see here your lens flare changes depending on which lens type you select. Um, here's movie prime and then here's the 50 to 300 millimeter zoom. And I think actually this is what we're going to use for this photo here today. So you can also adjust the brightness if you don't want it to be so bright or if you want it to be really bright. I'm going to go with somewhere between 150 and 160. And now one final thing is that if this wasn't in the right spot, if you wanted your lens flare coming in from the right side of your photo, you can move this little plus sign around and put the lens flare wherever you want it on your photo. So I do want it right about here because this is where my sun is coming in through my photo. And I'm going to hit OK. And now it's played this lens flare on my photo. And I know you're probably thinking it's black and you can't see it. You're absolutely right. There's one thing we can do to change that. And that's to change the blend mode of this layer. So we're going to come up to the drop down and we're going to select screen. And as you can see, now we can see our lens flare and our black is gone. The other awesome part about doing it this way is that we can also adjust our lens flare. So if this wasn't in the perfect spot, we could hit Command T on our keyboard or Control T on a PC, and then we could adjust this. So if, if it wasn't angled quite right, we could adjust the angle of this, we could stretch it, we could shrink it. You can do almost anything to it now that it is on this layer. So I'm gonna leave it like that, and I'll hit OK. Now there's a couple other things going on here. So as you can see, there's a couple of these really bright green spots that I don't want necessarily on her. So this one I think is okay. This one I don't like, it's very distracting. So to change that or to remove that just one spot, all you have to do is add a layer mask to this layer. So to do that, you're gonna come down to the bottom of your layers panel and hit the square with the circle in it. And then we are going to paint on the layer mask. So because our layer mask is white and we want to hide something, we're going to use a black brush. So selecting the brush from your toolbar or hitting B on your keyboard, making sure your foreground color is set to black. So you can toggle back and forth between your foreground and background colors by hitting X on your keyboard. Um, so I've set mine to black. My opacity is 67. I might bump that up a little bit. I'm just adjusting my brush size by hitting the bracket keys on my keyboard. The left bracket key is going to make your brush smaller. The right bracket key is going to make your brush bigger. So making my brush a little bit smaller, I'm just going to paint over top of that 
green spot on my photo and it's going to remove that. If there was anything else that you wanted to remove from your photo, you could use your black brush to do so then too. And one final thing I want to do is blur this lens flare. So as you can see this flare right here right next to her face, it's a little bit too sharp. It doesn't look terribly realistic. So I do want to blur it a little bit. Same with this one down here. So to do that, we actually need to be on our lens flare layer and not on our layer mask layer. So you can tell which one you're on by these little four brackets that are surrounding the little thumbnail here. So we want to make sure the four brackets are around the lens flare and not around the layer mask. It's not going to do anything if it's around the layer mask. So now that we're around our lens flare, we want to come up to filter and this time we're going to go to blur and Gaussian blur. And you can see it's um, even making the effect on our photo here. So if I zoom in, it, it's kind of showing us what the blur is going to be like. So if you don't want it quite so blurry, you can bring it down. If you want it a little bit more blurry, you can bring it up. And I kind of want it somewhere in the middle. So I'm going to choose about four or five. And I think that's good. So I'm going to hit OK. And it's applied our blur to our photo. So one other thing I'm gonna do here to this photo is I'm just gonna remove some of this flare off her face. The flare is behind her. I don't necessarily want so much flare on her face. So I am going to decrease the opacity of the flare a bit as well. Then I'm gonna make sure I'm on my layer mask and using a black brush, I'm gonna bring the opacity down of the brush though. I'll bring it down to about 40%. I'm just gonna brush it off just kind of her face there. And it just makes it look a little bit more realistic. And I'm happy with that. So here is the before without the lens flare. And here is the after. Lens flares are a really great way to add light. And now that you know how to do it non-destructively, you should be good to go. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, you can always email me at hello at floatinglightsphoto.com or you can find me over on Facebook at facebook.com slash floatinglightsphotography. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.